Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Um, you can also check out a link down in the description below for some Trinity Dairy merchandise. We got a bunch of stuff on there. Go ahead and check that out. Um, today is Tuesday, September 28th, I believe it is today. Yep, beautiful day out. It's about 80, I think. Sunny, nice breeze. Um, so what we're doing this afternoon a neighbor, a friend of ours, uh, me and him kind of make some hay together over at his place. Cut some second crop over there. Uh, he's over there raking now. There's not much there. It's nice hay, but it's it's pretty short. So we're gonna square bale it, I think. Um, I have the most, or the least amount of loss, I guess you would say, with the square baler on that short hay. Um, the round baler, you'll tend to lose a lot more as you're driving baling. So. Um, we got the uh, hay basket here. I got this one and I got one over there already. Got the baler hooked up. I got the little 820 John Deere on there. Normally I don't bale with that tractor. Um, I mean, it's baled its fair share of hay in the past, but uh, that ground over there is nice and flat. It's small windrows. This tractor will handle it no problem. Um, my main reason for taking this one over there is fuel economy. I know there's not going to be a lot of hay there, and this is by far the most economical tractor to run. So um, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to head over there now, and we'll see. I'm hoping it's ready today. At this time of the year, the dew probably just came off not too long ago. So, um, but it's been cut since Saturday, so uh, should be should be ready at least some of it. So we'll head over there and see if we can make some bales. All right, well, I made it over here. Um, just as I was pulling into his driveway, my front tire started losing air and just got into the yard here and so it went flat. So um, my dad, mom and dad live just down the road. So dad's gonna bring Jack over and some wrenches. I'll pull this off and bring it home and uh, take it apart, either stick a tube in it or else I can patch it. I don't know what happened to it, if I ran something over on the road or what, but... Um, anyway we'll pull it apart and see i went and checked the hay uh it's looking nice it probably wouldn't hurt it to sit a little bit yet we'll go and uh, take a look at it up here in the field or one of them there's <coughs> three or is there one two five different fields here so um one of them he didn't cut i don't think because it was pretty pretty thin but this end of this bigger field here um this actually some pretty decent wind rows this always does better it used to be old cow yard, I think, but get further over, it kind of thins out. But um, take a look here. It's a nice looking hay, that's for sure. But there is some spots in it yet, a little bit tough. This is pretty crunchy here, but um, it would definitely, it would definitely go now. But by the time I get that tire fixed, the dew will probably be back on. So um, we'll get the tire off, get that fixed. I'll come and bail it tomorrow. They're not talking any rain for two days yet so it uh, it won't hurt this I don't think to sit and dry a little bit more especially up along the tree line over here it's always more shaded like here you got some green this stuff here this is green yet that just got turned up with the rake so um anyway so I'm gonna go wait for my dad to get here pull that tire off and uh, we'll fix that up hey everybody welcome back to the channel it's the next day here um we got uh Tire pulled off last night, or yesterday afternoon. Um, I was gonna get a new tire for it and just put a new one on there, but it was too late by the time nobody was open. So uh, I pulled this one apart, patched the tube in it, and put it back together. I patched the tube and I put a patch in the tire. Um, the problem is, is that this tire is just getting old. The casing is all cracked inside, so it just keeps pinching the tube. Um, so it needs a new tire, but I'm hoping I did it yesterday afternoon. It's still full air. So see how it does when we start moving around here, but hopefully it'll hold up till we get this hay done and then I'll just put a new tire and tube in it. But anyway, so I'm going to put this on and then we'll go check the hay, see if the dew is off now. It's a little afternoon, so it should be pretty much off and we can start baling.
All right, we'll go check on the hay. I'm hoping I can get this hay basket under this tree here. Branch is a little low, but if I can tuck over to the side, I think it'll get under there. Otherwise, I might have to do a little bit of trimming. Boy, it's beautiful out today. Sun shining again, wind blowing. If this hay is not dry today, I don't think it'll ever be dry. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. I might, that outside round along the trees here, I might skip that till later, let that that's still in the shade, so that's got some dew on it, but no, this stuff is definitely dry. And this is, this end up here, um, that's the heaviest hay that's gonna be out here, I know that, so. If this is dry, I know the rest of it is, so. Anyway, we'll pull up here and uh, tighten the baler down and get started. These cranks here, those, um, for those, anybody wondering, that's what sets your tension on the bale, how tight your bale is made. Um, so yeah, that's all those do. And for anybody out there who thinks that I need to make a tighter bale, um, it doesn't go any tighter. So we run it, dry hay, we run it as tight as it'll go. So, um, but that's what those do. I'm gonna swing the hitch over now, set the pickup down and, uh, get this lined up, get it straightened out here and start bailing.
lunchtime. Lunchtime. Delicious roast beef, potatoes, carrots. Some roast beef and chicken and pizza. <laughs> hey, you're stealing my hay? No. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. We got all that bale. I got the one load. I just brought that home. Um, 197 bales, so that was pretty good. They're pretty tight, so there's a lot of hay in them. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna run now. Jen and my dad are just finishing up milking. Uh, I think my brother Paul is on his way over here. Uh, so I'm gonna probably grain the cows before I go. I'm gonna go get the other. I want to get the other load pulled home before it gets dark. It gets dark so early now. So then um, get some silage fed and get this in the barn.